Hi, I'm Tasman Rothley, cosmetic chemist and trainer here at the Institute of Personal Care Science. And today I'm gonna to show you how to make a really cool encapsulated brush. Okay, so to show you my what my encapsulated blush is going to look like, I'm just gonna give you a quick show here. So as you can see, there's these beautiful little oil droplets of blush color suspended in a really nice, homogenous and stable gel system. Now let me show you how easy it is to put together. Okay, so firstly to build my gel network, I have some water here. To this, I'm gonna be adding my humectant. I'm gonna be going in with some propane deol. This is a nice non-tacky, non-sticky humectant. And using my propeller mixer, I'm just gonna start stirring that to make it really nice and homogenous. Now to build my gel structure, I'm gonna be using a couple of different polymers today. So my first one here, I have is the Pemulin EZ4U by Lubrizol. And I've also got some Carbopore Ultras 10 as well by Lubrizol. So this is gonna build a really nice stable gel network for my encapsulated blush. Now, while that is stirring and dissolving, I'm gonna to put together my next phase here. So in my bowl here, I've got some polysorbate 20 or some tween 20 by Crota. This is my solubilizer. So this is gonna help with some of my oily phase materials. I've got some fragrance here and I've also got my preservative. And I'm just gonna give that a little bit of a stir. And once my carbopole and my pemulin have hydrated, and dissolved, I'm gonna add this into it. Okay, so now that it has dissolved, I'm gonna go ahead and add my solubilizer and my oily materials. So I'm gonna partially neutralize this now by using a small drop of my trimethamine solution. This is just gonna add a little bit of viscosity and start building a bit of structure within my gel. As you can see, there's like a, it's starting to thicken up a bit now and turn into an actual gel. Okay, so while that's mixing, I'm gonna show you how to put together my color phase here. So this is my blush color. So this is a nice light filling ester mixed with a red iron oxide, some titanium dioxide, and a special ingredient called oil chemia by Lubrizol. So in my bowl here, I have the Cher Simol 1818 ester by Lubrizol. This is a nice light filling ester. You don't want anything too uh, heavy or too greasy when making the blush. You don't want it to run from the face. It's very, very important. And to this, I'm gonna be adding my colorants here. So as I said earlier, I've got some red iron oxide and I've also got some titanium dioxide as well. It's gonna give it that really nice, beautiful, deep, uh, like burgundy red sort of pink color. And of course, I'm gonna add my oil chemia here by Lubrizol. This is an oily thickener, so this is going to help turn into nice, beautiful oily droplets and to help stabilize them as well. And I'm just going to pop that one on heat. Okay, so once your oil chemia is all um, homogenous and melted and your color's looking nice and homogenous as well, we're gonna remove that from the heat and allow it to cool and set. Okay, so this is what it will look like when it, once it's cooled and set. As you can see, it's thickened up quite a bit. This is what we want because we're adding it into our gel here. So you want them to be pretty thick to make little uh, oil droplets, little bursts of color. So I'm gonna add this um, to my gel here and we are gonna increase our RPM as well. Now you do wanna increase your uh, mixer here to 1000 RPM. And we don't wanna do it for too long, we just wanna do enough to it breaks up our blush into little tiny droplets. 
And what we also want to do as well while we're doing this is just neutralize the rest of our gel here. So I've just got the rest of my neutralizer. And I just popped in there and as you can see, that's thickened up a lot more um, once again, which is what we want. So this is what it is looking like. You can see on camera those tiny little droplets there of our beautiful dispersed color. So we are just gonna cover and leave this and then let it sit for the next day just to make sure that it remains nice and stable. Okay, and here is what my blush is looking like the next day. It's remained nice and stable, which is what we want. I'm gonna put a bit on a watch glass just so you can actually see a bit better on camera what it looks like, hopefully. Here's little tiny beautiful droplets of color. I'm just gonna put a bit on my hand here. Now I find it's a lot easier to put on your hand first to rub it in and then apply it onto your cheek, but you just do what works best for you. So either with your beauty blender, your sponge, or your brush, whatever you use to apply your blush, that's gonna add a really nice, beautiful color there onto the skin, a little bit goes a long way. Well, there you go, that's how super simple it is to make an encapsulated blush. Now, if you enjoyed today's video, please give it a thumbs up, leave any questions in the comments below, and don't forget to subscribe to receive notification on the rest of our videos. Happy formulating.